Hey guys, what's going on? I got a really quick short news update for you from Dokkan Battle. Um, I'm going to go over the new global celebration real quick, and then we're going to jump into the new Vegito Blue uh, that's coming. And the new Easy Awakening that's coming on the JP side, which I can't wait because that means there's going to be so many, so much more in store for us in the future. But let's talk about this real quick. Global celebration is now on. I went and picked up a whole a couple of the stone packs myself. I did some summonings, um, not on the Rose and Vegito Blue. I did it on the LR Bojack banner, which I, you know, you just watch the videos. They'll be out over the next couple days for summons. I'm still going to be doing my uh, team building guides for you so stay tuned for those i will have them out at some point this weekend my work schedule changes i am now going to be doing um friday friday to monday from 12 to like 11 so you're probably gonna see less content from me over the weekends um if you do see content from me it's gonna be because i'm gonna probably be recording on tuesday wednesday thursdays which kind of works out because those are usually days where we have the most information so i'll have a lot of information for you throughout the weekend uh, anyway, new global celebration information is going to be out, so new login 10 stones are now in your box. I already got those. Go ahead, log in and grab them. We have new mission rewards, which we're going to talk about in a little bit. Five dra We have a whole bunch of dragon stones that are on sale. Um, if you are, if you don't mind spending money, they're definitely worth it. Um, I definitely recommend um, packs 1, 3, 4, and 5 at least. Uh, that's in terms of the order in which they're displayed. The second pack isn't worth it because it's $2, the same amount that pack 1 gives you. Uh, you just got a an extra stone for a dollar, so that's why I kind of like stayed away from that second pack. Um, everything else is kind of cool. Uh, so number four, Vegeta Blue and Rose banners are confirmed. They're going to be split, super, and extreme. Starts when maintenance ends. Uh, it happens in actually, uh, let's see over here, from the time I'm recording this, two hours and 41 minutes. So for those of you who are counting down, uh, that's how much longer we have. By the way, shout out to the Reddit and everyone over here for all this awesome information. Um, outside of that, let's see, starting maintenance, 100 hours, super multi discounts, uh, so it's probably going to be the summon three times, get one free. Uh, again, I'm just going for Rosé, and then that's about it. We have the Kai banner, five Elder Kais for 25 stones, 424, uh, kind of worth it. Dragon Ball Super Future Trunk Saga runs until 420 to 512, Champa Saga runs 424 to 512. Battle prep and a new 20th World Tournament with the Super Trunks, which is going to be awesome. That is the Intelligent Super Trunks. I don't know if I'm going to go for him or not. I might want to do that, but we'll see what happens. We have the Baby Saga and Baby Saga Finale coming back for 430. Now, the GT events are pain in the butts um, just because of all the grinding you have to do for Baba Shop. Quest experience is tripled until 511. All hidden potential stages are open weekly, every day weekly up until 57. So that's phenomenal. Mission awards are consuming 1,000 stamina by 510 um, awards. Five Super Dokkan Fest and five Extreme Dokkan Fest tickets. So you can go ahead, consume all that stamina, all that great stamina, guys, and you just get some tickets to summon on them. Good luck on that. Clearing Hidden Potential Event Daily gives you one stone. Clearing Awakening Metal Events Roshi's Training Hercules World Tournament and Z Awakening Character Daily gives various rewards. So a whole bunch of awesome missions. And that's just something really quick I wanted to go over and talk about. Um, nothing really special there. Let's go ahead and talk about the new information over here. So we have some awesome information about... The new Vegito, you know what, we're just going to go over here. Um, this is a V-Jump leak over here. Oh my gosh, I love Vegeta. Vegeta is my favorite character. We have a new unit coming out. He's going to be a 120 lead from what it looks like. He has a transform mechanic. So that's going to be awesome. Look at him over here. His nice epic uh, stance. Dokken Awakens into that. He has that dark blue hair. Um, and he's going to be an agility unit. Outside of that, we don't know anything else about him. We only know that he's going to be an agility 120 lead who transforms into his golden form. So, I'm not golden form. Duh, that's Frieza. Uh, into his extreme blue form. Uh, I don't know what this Amasu thing is up over here on the top right. I don't know if that's Dokkan battle related or not. It might be, but I don't have any information about that. No one has said anything about that. But down here, guys... We have new Extreme Z Awakenings for the Kamehameha Broly Killers. So that is the Goten, the Gohan, and the Goku. They are all getting Extreme Z Awakenings, which is very interesting. That means there's going to be a lot of room for other units to get their Awakenings. Um, I'm waiting for Cell. What the hell? <laughs> I didn't mean for that to rhyme, actually. So, uh, But I really am waiting for Cell. I want him to come out. I need better units for my Mono Tech Extreme teams. Um, but with that being said... This also could possibly mean that Brawly is going to be useful in this event. Uh, we don't know the specifics about it. There's a lot of speculation what's going on. And there's speculation that there's going to be three separate EZAs and you get stones per one. 
Um, there's other speculation that, you know, because if you do one of each one, that's 90 stones total just for grinding out all 30 levels for each one. Um, the other thing is that maybe you, you change um, how much you actually need. Uh, maybe you get one drop, like maybe it's actually just 30 stages, uh, and you just change the difficulty per person. So like stages 1 through 10, you go up against Goten, 10 through 20, you go up against Gohan, or 11 through 20, you go through Gohan, then... Uh, like 11 uh, or 21 on is Goku uh, and that's how you get all these medals but you drop like one of every medal like you know you get all three medals per whatever drop rate is required for you to get the awakenings um, but that's awesome so that means we're going to be getting that in for that stuff soon um, other than that there's not really any other tra uh, translations over here uh, everything that I just said to you um, so that looks like it's going to be cool. I don't know what their usefulness is going to be. Um, in terms of the units down here, I think the best one is the Gohan card. Um, he has, I think, like attack plus 90% on his uh, 120 unit, like his TUR variant. So I wonder what he's going to be. Uh, Goku is a flat, flat out attack, I believe, and Goten is a key orb manipulator. So I'm really interested to see what they do here. I would be, really be happy to see if they gave Goten the ability to change two types of key orbs that would be phenomenal um outside of that family can maybe uh, that's about it um yeah that's all that there is that's all the information i have here just a quick news update i want to get out to you guys i'm super hyped about this i'm not going to be up for this thing i'm going to bed i'm exhausted actually i'll probably be up by the time it does release because i'm going to watch uh, i got the, the latest episode of supernatural that i just downloaded and uh, i think i got it i got another tv show i just downloaded that came out today arrow i think was it arrow i think arrow was released today um, so I'm going to watch those two episodes, and I'm probably going to go to bed. But I am happy about all of this. Um, unfortunately, in terms of gameplay, I did record two videos for all those tickets, uh, for the ticket summons, like I promised you guys. There's no audio. I uh, I looked into everything that you guys had told me about. I said it in my videos when I did those recordings. You'll hear that when I, when I go up over the next day or two. Um, I do not have any audio going through for my game to my computer. Um, I do have the... Um, my little uh, microphone over here that I have set up so I can definitely do an auxiliary input if I wanted to I just need to get an adapter for that if you know to get my gameplay audio recorded but uh, I don't have any of that in that set up right now so you get the video which is cool so that way you guys can see what I'm doing when I'm playing my games and whatnot but there's no audio unfortunately so I'm just going to put the background audio in and tune that up a little bit just for what you could have it but um, anyway, guys, that's it. I really hope that was helpful. I really hope you guys are hyped for that. Let me know what you guys think about the new Easy A down in the comments below. And I will talk to you guys tomorrow because I'm probably not going to respond to your comments for at least another 10 hours. Uh, anyway, guys, I'll talk to you later. Peace.